Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy and welcome to this new tutorial brought to you by Techful Tuts. And today's tutorial is all about the vanishing point tool inside of Photoshop CS3 and CS4. Also CS2. Yeah, CS2, CS3 and CS4. Uh, all of those have the vanishing point tool which we're going to use to add some graffiti into that black part right there of the, uh, the image. So first of all, what you need is a some kind of image with uh, perspective, really. See here we have a vanishing point, so a perspective to the image. And uh, we're going to use the vanishing point tool to uh, do some uh, very nice looking uh, graffiti on it. First of all, let's screw and create a new layer. So let's go ahead and click the little button right there. Let's call it uh, text. Set layer selected, go to your text tool and select a font. So I have mine, let's see, graffiti font that I picked up at um, dafont.com. It's D A F O N T.com. It's a very nice uh, website where you have a bunch of fonts to download for free. So, very nice. Uh, very nice website. Go ahead and check it out. Set the color to white. Click on OK, and we'll just type in tech for tuts. So, so we don't really see that too much. So let's bring it up, and uh, let's go ahead and move it to the side right there. Okay. So actually, so that looks pretty nice. Let me turn that off. Oh, you can you see you see that right there? Great floor. Okay, so now what we need to do is go ahead and go to layer, layer style. Let's go to stroke. And I'm gonna add some stroke. I'm gonna add some uh, dark red stroke, and let's bring it up to about six, seven, seven. That's good. So seven, and now we need to go ahead and right click. Click on convert to smart object. I'm gonna control, press control, and click on that little preview somewhere. And we wanna copy this. So control C or edit copy. And you wanna right click and select rasterize layer. Great. Now you wanna turn that thing off. Now we have copied this selection right there. Now let's press control D. To deselect, or we'll select, uh, where is it? Deselect up here. Okay, so once you have deselected the layer, create a new one and we'll call it graffiti. I think that's how you spell it, right? Okay, anyway. Okay, so with that layer selected, make sure you select this layer. You want to go to filter, vanishing point. So the image is going to come up. Right there. Okay, good. Now we want to set create a plane that will cover this area. We we'll see right there we have a nice, nice line we can use to build up our plane. Okay, so it says it's kind of impossible to have this. Okay, so we can actually move those points around. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, perfect. So when it's, when it's blue, it means it's good. If it's uh, red, like this, it's not good. It's like impossible perspective. Some sort. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Now is that uh, plane created? You want to go to you're gonna press Control V to paste, and now you have the layer right there. Okay, see, I have the layer. Now you wanna grab it and right there. You see, you see that? Went right there onto the the plane, and it's it has its perspective. Okay, so now you wanna take the uh, transform tool right there, and you wanna bring it down a whole lot. Can really bring it down, so I mean, have a little fun. And you want to press OK, enter, 
and this will validate the choice. So if we actually bring it up to 100%, so right there we have a nice uh, graffiti. Now let's go to the uh, layer blending mode and set it to maybe uh, how was it? Uh, we can set it to difference or exclusion. You wanna find some uh, some interesting ones. Have overlay, that's not too good. All dodge. You can just scrub through and look at the at the good one. Difference looks about right and you wanna bring the opacity down just a little bit. And here we go. Now you can match the scene with some lighting and stuff. You can have, have a little fun with it. So we have our regular text and no more. You can actually go and uh, do that text. And once we move it, it's just moving here, okay? See? It's regular text. Okay, so that's how you put some graffiti into your uh, scene. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time for some other technology related tutorials and reviews. See you guys later. Bye.